Hey, you're watching my personal review of one of Daytel's newest products, the Action Replay DS. Now, like with other Action Replays, this device allows you to input number and letter codes to use with your games for things like infinite health, lives, etc. Now, it's a really simple process to do. You simply take the Action Replay DS. Well, first you'll want some cheat codes, which you can obtain by hooking it up to your computer through the USB slot on the top. And it's actually about the size of a normal DS game. Very close. Now, to run it, we'll simply stick it in the DS. I'm using a DS Lite, but uh, regular DS can be used all the same. So I'll simply turn it on. And we're presented with a very user-friendly display. Um, all controls are used are via touchscreen. Now it's telling me insert game card. So what we actually do is we eject the action replay from the DS and replace it with a game we want to use codes for. In this case, we'll do New Super Mario Brothers. Right here. Now, right upon putting it in, it knows that it's New Super Mario Brothers. Now, to put codes in for it, you can't do it manually. You have to get them from your computer. We'll touch the check mark and we'll put what code you want to do. Must be on, obviously. Uh, we could do Invincible. Now, we got some codes on, so now touch Go. And it goes right to New Super Mario Brothers. Start a one player game here. Now, this code should make us invincible. And it does. You can see Mario walking around. He's got, let's see, will it be infinite star power? Yep, seems to be lasting a pretty long time. So there's just one of the many thousands of codes you could have for your game. Obviously, it doesn't work with just New Super Mario Brothers. Daytel has codes for almost all, almost all DS games you could think of. Especially the popular ones like New Super Mario Brothers. Now, if you're the cheating type, going through levels is a breeze with invincibility. That sounded like a commercial, huh? Anyway, before my camera runs out, let's try another game. This time we'll use Mario Kart DS. Now, same as before, put the action replay in, turn the DS on. And I'll just do this right quick before my battery runs out. Insert game cart. Okay, so we take this out. Put in Mario Kart. And there we go. It knows that it's Mario Kart DS. Let's see. There's your basic ones like unlock all courses, unlock all characters, freeze time. Not really sure why that would be necessary. Um, you can make it so you always play on a certain track, including the beta ones. Let's try the notorious GameCube Mario circuit, which is incomplete in the game. So it's a beta course. And you can make it so pressing a certain button gives you a certain item. And you could do that for any item, like bullet bills or spiny shells, whatever. And you could do that as many times as you like during the game. I'm not going to put those on right now. We'll just click go on the touch screen and start the game up. And if anybody's wondering, no, you cannot use these cheat codes on Nintendo Wi-Fi because simply they just don't work. It acts as if there's no codes entered. So now we can go to anywhere. Let's go to time trials. Any car is fine with me. Now we can select any course we want. Let's we can do figure eight circuit. Doesn't really matter. Turn goes off. And now, we are in fact inside the textureless GameCube Mario circuit with the action replay. 
the bottom screen shows a glitched up Waluigi pinball map. Not that I have much interest there. And I'll just breeze through the track real quick before I run out of juice. For my camera, that is. Yeah, the usual untextured beta goodness. There's lots of tracks that you could put in codes for that you could find that are either untextured, incomplete. Um, trying to find the road right now, it's kind of hard and there's no textures. Um, if we're not in a race, I would be doing pretty bad. Um, that structure in the background looks like what would be Peach's castle if it was textured. Um, but anyway, but that's about it for the cheat code part. Um, my personal score, I would give this a 9. The PC program for transferring codes from the PC to the action replay is very easy to use, very simple. It's a literal drag and drop feature, very easy to use, figure out. Um, the one downside though is that you can't enter codes manually. You have to download them from a website or like set up a free subscription with uh, www.codejunkies.com for example. Um, and it has to be in the form of an XML data sheet. And, well, that's it. My review of Action Replay DS. Thanks for watching.